How often do you forget what you're saying? Do you forget what you're saying mid-sentence? Maybe you forget people's names five minutes after they've told you. Are you spending time rereading things while you're at work? Or even spending time correcting your mistakes? In this video, we're going to talk about why we experience brain fog at menopause, what foods to add in your diet and lifestyle changes to make to help reduce your menopause brain fog, improve your memory and protect your brain in the long term. So if you're new here, my name is Shirley and I'm a nutritional therapist with a three-year diploma in nutritional therapy. And on this channel, I share what foods to add in your menopause diet as well as lifestyle changes that you can make to help you manage your menopause symptoms through your diet and lifestyle. Although oestrogen is mostly associated as a sex hormones, when it comes to our brain and brain fog, it actually has several roles. Oestrogen protects our brain as well as regulating the neurotransmitters or the chemicals in our brain and the nervous system that stimulates or calms our nervous system. And the reason we get brain fog in menopause is because we have lots of different oestrogen receptors in our brain. And especially more so in the areas of the brain responsible for memory, learning, recall and motivation. The greatest time that changes happen in our brain is during perimenopause. And that's why it's really important that we support our brain and our nervous system through these changes that's happening in perimenopause, minimizing the risk of lower oestrogen and other female hormones on our brain and memory. And this may help reduce our risk for brain-related illnesses in our later years. The first foods to add in your menopause diet to help reduce or minimize brain fog are phytoestrogen rich foods. Phytoestrogens work in a similar way to oestrogen and that's because they bind with the oestrogen receptors in our brain and nervous system. By adding phytoestrogen rich foods in your menopause diet you're helping to minimize the effects of lower oestrogen on your brain and memory. So how can you add more phytoestrogen rich foods in your diet? So to add more phytoestrogen rich foods in your breakfast for example you can add flax seeds, pumpkin or sunflower seeds and berries into your oats or maybe a pot of natural yogurt or you can even use the same seeds and sprinkle it on your salads. During the colder weather I make myself some miso soup while I'm waiting for my lunch to cook. Miso soup is made from fermented soybeans which contains isoflavones which are the same compounds found in many popular supplements for menopause. I also have lots of cruciferous vegetables in my diet so I'll have lots of broccoli, cauliflower, kale, pak choy in my main meals mainly at lunch and especially at dinner. Not only do they provide a source of phytoestrogens, they also help to balance oestrogen as well as minimizing our risks for oestrogen related diseases. The second food groups to add in your menopause diet to reduce menopause brain fog are healthy fats. Research shows that people who have memory issues or brain issues may be deficient in healthy fats, namely omega-3 fatty acids. Our brain is mostly made up of fats and even our neurons or nervous system have a layer of fats over them and this helps with the transfer and communication of information from one neuron to another. Our body can't make them so we have to get them from our diet. The two essential fatty acids we're talking about here are omega-3 fatty acids and omega-6 fatty acids. Ideally there should be a ratio of three parts of omega-3 fatty acids to one part of omega-6 fatty acids. But in our current diet or current lifestyle there's an overconsumption of omega-6 fatty acids just because of the foods that we're eating and that includes a lot of processed foods and foods 
cooked in vegetable fats. Inflammation has been known to be a risk factor for memory issues as well as depression and other mood issues. By adding more healthy fats in your diet you're also helping to reduce inflammation which may be one cause for your menopause brain fog as well as poor memory, recall and mood issues. Fish is known to be one of the richest sources of omega-3 fatty acids so by adding things like salmon, mackerel, anchovy, herring and sardines you'll be supporting your brain and nervous system to stay sharp, improve your memory and help reduce your brain fog. So how much fish should you be having or how, many how much healthy fats in your diet should you be having? If you're not used to having so much fish in your diet start introducing a portion of fish so say a portion of fish in one of your dinners. As you get used to having more fish in your diet start increasing and adding it through your lunches. I have a portion of fish three to four times maybe more a week because I'll have fish at lunch times and a few times in the evening meals as well. Plant sources of healthy fats include avocados, olives and olive oil, coconut oil, flax seeds, walnuts, chia seeds, hemp seeds and seaweed. So nuts and seeds generally are really good sources of healthy fats to start adding in your diet. You can also snack on nuts instead of something sugary and that's another easy way of adding more healthy fats in your diet. So if you're getting value from the information I've shared so far I'd love it if you'd hit the like button so YouTube knows to share this video with other women who may need the information that I share here. And if this is the type of information you're looking for to help you through your menopause journey to reduce your menopause symptoms, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll get notified when I've uploaded another video. The third types of foods to add in your menopause diet to help reduce menopause brain fog are sources of protein. Protein will help to slow down the digestion and the release of those sugar from your food. Especially if you're eating a lot of simple carbohydrate foods, things like breads, pastas, potatoes, pastry, get digested and they release their sugars really quickly. And because our body can only process around a teaspoon of sugar at a time, insulin gets released to bring your blood sugar levels back down and this causes blood sugar fluctuations so for example, maybe you've had a bowl of pasta or something carby for lunch and you may find that an hour or two later you feel really sleepy, you've got brain fog, you can't think straight, you're having to read things a lot slower just to get the gist of what you're trying to read and you end up reaching for another something sweet or a coffee just to stimulate your brain again. And another way that you may experience this low blood sugar or blood sugar fluctuations is you start having heart palpitations or anxiety because your blood sugar levels have dropped too quickly. Now of course I'm not a doctor and if you are worried about heart palpitations or any of your menopause symptoms it's really important to go and see your doctor just to make sure that there is no underlying issues that he or she may need to look into. Another reason to add more proteins in your menopause diet is because they provide the amino acids to support the effects of serotonin in our brain. Serotonin also helps to balance the more stimulating neurochemicals in our brain, helping your brain body and nervous system to be in a calmer state to help you retain and remember information. If you forget words while you're talking or can't remember the words for simple everyday things or just can't stay focused or be on top of things in your job, I know that life can get really stressful as well as embarrassing. Instead of reaching for your usual sweet snacks, try having dark chocolate, blueberries or green tea instead of a bar of normal chocolate which has a lot of sugar. Having dark chocolate, blueberries or other berries 
as well as green tea are other ways of adding more foods in your menopause diet that may help with memory focus and recall when we're talking about chocolate it has to be at least 70 percent cocoa because all the other sweeter types of chocolate tend to have a lot more sugar and it negates the benefits that you may otherwise get from the 70% cocoa variety. Now, the thing with green tea, berries, dark chocolate is that they have compounds called polyphenols. And polyphenols are known to protect your brain from something called oxidative stress, as well as protecting the brain from neurodegenerative diseases. Tea, coffee and red wine do also provide polyphenols to support your brain and memory. However, because of the caffeine in coffee and tea, as well as the alcoholic content in red wine, it may be worth minimising these sources of polyphenols in your diet. And also because caffeine and red wine tend to be triggers for hot flushes in a lot of women, so these may not be the things that you get your polyphenols from. Now I can't talk about reducing menopause brain fog without talking about water. It's needed in a lot if not all body processes. And when you're not drinking enough water, especially if you are having hot flushes or you are having sweating, you may get dehydrated. And you'll feel dehydration as sleepiness, brain fog, can't remember the words for simple everyday things, or being in that state where you're talking to someone and you lose track of what you're saying. It may help to increase your water intake. So I tend to have about five to six pints of water per day. I'll start my day with a glass of warm water while my coffee is brewing. I have a glass of water with me throughout the whole day and I'll refill that several times a day and that's my water intake to about five or six pints of water for the day. Now that the weather has got hotter I do have a bit more to make up for the heat and for the sweating. So now that we know what types of food to add in our menopause diet to help reduce our brain fog, it's really important to know that we do need to avoid certain foods in our diet. Things like sugary foods, simple carbohydrates, I've mentioned already the rice, potatoes, pasta. More importantly, things like biscuits, sweets, pastries, cakes, I think you know the types of food I'm talking about, and also alcohol. These types of foods cause blood sugar imbalances that you may feel as brain fog, sleepiness, poor focus, can't remember things, low energy, anxiety and palpitations. These foods cause inflammations that increases the risk for brain fog, memory and mood issues. If you'd like to know what other foods may be making your menopause symptoms worse, check out the video in the link above and I'll put it in the description down below. When it comes to supporting your brain health and reducing your brain fog, your lifestyle also affects your brain function and memory. And getting active is really important in reducing your menopause brain fog in several ways. One is that it helps to circulate more blood around your body, helping to provide more nutrients and oxygen to your brain, as well as removing toxins from your brain and your body that may be causing inflammation and thereby adding to your menopause brain fog. Exercise has also been known to increase a protein called brain-derived neutrophic factors. These are proteins known to improve the transmission of information between neurons as well as help grow the connections in the brain that's associated with learning and memory. By being active, you're also helping yourself to get tired, to be relaxed for more restful sleep. I'm sure you know how important sleep is for learning, memory and recall. There may be other factors that's causing your menopause brain fog and these are things such as thyroid issues, medications and other health issues. Just as with brain fog, your menopause symptoms or any other health issues 
that you may be worried about, it's really important to go and see your doctor just to make sure that there are no underlying issues that your doctor may need to investigate. Another reason that you may be experiencing menopause brain fog is because you're deficient in vitamin D. If you'd like to know how vitamin D may help improve your other menopause symptoms, check out this video or that one. <laughs>